Tackle Junkies, what's going on, fellas? It's here. The Black Friday Tackle Warehouse Order. We're going to unbox this for you today. I know you guys dig these kind of videos. Show me some love down in the comments. Smash that thumbs up. Let's get right into it. guys we got the old strider here let me know down below what's your favorite one item or whatever that you got on black friday fishing related or not is what's your favorite thing that you picked up or the coolest thing you picked up let me know down below all right so we can push this box off to the side here paper don't need that receipt don't want to look at that all right, there's a couple things in here that you guys are going to be pretty surprised that I ordered, but we'll get to that at the end. We'll save those for last. Let's jump into the hard baits. We got a couple there. Let's see here, one there. Thought we had, yeah, one more here. Should be one more. Nope, two more. All right, we got some six cents hard baits here. First up, we have the... Crush 50X Chartreuse Black Back. Pretty uh pretty great color there for muddy water. Hard to beat that one there. No need to take that one out of the package. You guys have seen uh, Chartreuse Black Back many, many times in the past, I'm sure. Comes with uh, KVD Mustad triple grips, it looks like. Pretty cool. That one there. Then we got a bluegill color. Really like this color here. This one's called Bluegill Spawn. You guys can see that one there pretty good as well. And these are rattling. And then we got three of the flat. These are the flat 75X. This one here is boiled crawfish. Great for colder water. Then we got another chartreuse black back. And then this one here I really like. Take this one out here. This one is called um, Shadcraft. I got this one in the uh, regular square bill. Just a shad pattern. Killer color though. Really, really like that. You guys can see this is my first time trying out this bait. We got a shad color. Color for dirty water, and then a crawfish color. I mean, those three colors, if I can't get bit on those three colors, I either don't know what I'm doing or the bait just don't work. So those three colors should get you bit pretty much anywhere. Shad, chartreuse black back, crawfish color. You know, those are pretty much the deal for me. And then we got a couple of the Storm Orashi. These are the silent. You guys know that the rattling is discontinued. I may experiment with one of these, drill some holes, add some BBs or something like that. But this has become one of my go-to square bills. The color is, uh, see here, Rashi Silent Square 3, Black Silver Shad. So we got a couple of those. Wish they had the rattling, but again, they are discontinued. Then we got, um, wow, that is huge. I had no idea that was that big. This was going to most likely go back. <laughs> You know, I think I had something on back order as well. Let me look real fast. I think it was the, um, let's see, the Vixen Flutter Shad. Or no, Vixen, the Vixen Silver Flitter Shad. Flitter Shad is the color, but the Vixen was back ordered as well as some of the um, Pit Bosses in Ski Hot Craw. So this one here, I mean, I may keep it, but I mean, it's, it's pretty big, you guys know I don't always catch huge fish. And this bait here is pretty, pretty big. This is the 128. What's this thing weigh? Five inches, it's only three quarter ounce. I would expect that to be uh, a little bit heavier than that. But uh, maybe it's a killer looking color. We'll take her out. I may keep it and experiment with it. But I mean, it's, it's much bigger than I thought it was. Or I thought it would be. 
Love the color, though. Killer color. Really, it's not all that big. I mean, I may keep that. Have you guys done well with the 128? If any of you guys have used that, let me know. Killer color, though. I mean, really, it ain't all that big. I mean, the shad that they're eating in the lake are much bigger than this, I'm sure. I'm sure there's a time and a place for it. We'll play around with that. It is much bigger than I thought, but I bet it'll walk really well. It means so long, you know. So I did get that one, and I got that Vixen, like I said, which is back-ordered. All right, what else we got in here? We got, um, let's see here. These are the Shark Tooth. You guys see me use these in the past as well. I just put this around your line spool. It just keeps your tag in from unraveling, plus it keeps tension on the filler spool while you're spooling. A few different uses for those. Those are very cool. Definitely check those out as well. Then we got a couple frogs in here, which these are a little bit bigger than I expected as well. It might be a year for big baits. I don't know. This one here is the Molex uh, Black Mamba. The Sneaky Frog. I'm going to take one out here. They were saying, too, though, with the length of this and how it's designed, it walks really, really well. Which I can see that. Get her out. Super soft. Yeah, they were saying just where the weight's position in the belly and how long it is and all that, that it walks really, really well. But... Nice looking uh, frog there. You can see the weight there. So I'm digging that. Got that one there. And then we got the silver albino, which I thought it looked kind of like a shad, so I picked that color up. So black, shad type color. That should uh, be all I need to see if that bait's going to be any good for me. Again, a little bit bigger than I thought, but... I think I'm going to stick with it. Maybe I'll get a bigger bite. That is that. Got the KVD line and lure. Love this stuff. Never leave home without it. And then we got, uh, of course, Tackle House t-shirt. Don't need any more of those, really. Got some soft plastics in here. Let's see here. This one is a new bait here. New bait. Or right, this one here, we got the, uh, let's see here, Powerbait Max Scent Chartreuse Pepper Lizard. You guys can see that there pretty well. Chartreuse Pepper Lizard. We got uh, a couple packs of the 4-inch Black and Blue Pipos now in the Powerbait. And this is what I have back ordered, two packs of this in the, uh, what's it called? Uh... Skeet Hot Craw. So two of these are back ordered. Skeet Hot Craw. I used to have them all in the Havoc line. And like I said, I wanted to uh, get some of the Power Bait as well. This soft plastic here is a new one, I believe. This is called Power Bait uh, the Chigger Bug. Again, trying this bait out. So I got a darker color, black and blue. I was going something more natural. I would have got like a green pumpkin type, col type color, but this one here really caught my eye. It's called Watermelon Copper Orange Red. If you guys remember that video that I went over, either green pumpkin or something like with orange in it. I see an orange in this color here, so I picked it up to uh, try out over the green pumpkin. But, uh, yeah, I like that. Kind of reminds me of a, a Bama Craw type color. Good looking little jig trailer. Something like that. I'm sure these have a lot of kicking action. Kind of like a double tail grub. But most likely I'll put that on a Jig trailer, maybe just a jig head, maybe swim it, something like that. Maybe swim jig trailer. We'll play around with that one. And then we got one. This one here is a new color, Ike's Satfire Black. Yeah, Satfire Black. I could have went black and blue. Again, I wanted something a little bit different, but still a darker color. That looks pretty killer as well. Kind of looks a little bit like June bug. And then we got this one here, Skeet's Hot Craw. Yeah, this one will do 
work for sure. Loving that color. Yep, that's killer. That'll work well in that muddy water. It made his Texas rig that little three out hook and uh, just swim that around. That's why I fish the like the uh, crazy legs or even the chicker quad. I'll just swim them and they catch fish. All right, put some things away here. We got the last couple things. I order these because you guys have been asking about these couple reels here. Well, not so much this last one here just because it just came out. But you guys have asked me all last season to review the Tatula SV TW. And I also picked up the Tatula 100H. This is supposed to be like the, the smallest Tatula um, to date. So we're going to play around with both of those this season and give you guys some feedback on the reels. And I got um, six speed in both of them just because the six speed reel for me I mean, it's a workhorse. I can do so many things with it, but, you know, I throw spinner baits, I throw crank baits, you know, the most. So I figured I would get the most use out of these reels um, with that gear ratio. Again, I mean, I still use sevens. I don't use eight all that much. I don't use fives as much anymore. I mean, six and seven speeds are my go tos. But for any type of moving bait, chatter bait, scrounger head, crank bait, doesn't matter, something like that, six speed is what I have tied on. And even if, like, if I don't have a seven speed with me, it's great for Texas rigs, jigs, things like that. A little bit slower than I know a lot of you guys like, but for me, it's a super versatile. I can always speed it up. I can slow it down. And we got the, like I said, the six speed here. So we'll be reviewing this reel for you guys this upcoming season. That's got a really, really nice finish on it. So there is the SV. As you can see that there, again, six speed, most likely I put that on a cranking rod or maybe even a swim bait rod, something like that, you know, for that I throw my Kitex on. That way I get a whole lot of use out of that reel and get a good uh, review out for you guys. So that's that there. And then we got the Tatula 100. I believe this one has like a matte black type finish on it. And that is a killer looking little reel. I like that dude. That's pretty. That's pretty slick, man. I do like that. That is very, very small for a tattoo, if you guys can see that. Again, we'll do a, a review on this, up close um, video and all that, so you guys can really get a idea just how good the reel is. But um, I've never been disappointed with a tattoo in the past. I'm sure this one here will be no different. But um, Definitely, you'll notice right away the size difference compared to, um, especially the original Tattoos. Those things were pretty big, but um, that is pretty, pretty awesome looking. Got the little spider deal there on the side plate as well as on the, uh, the tension knob there, if you guys can see that. Pretty, pretty cool reel though. So we'll be playing around with this this season as well. Now, this one here, I'm not really sure on specs, uh, how much line it can hold and all that. But being a smaller reel, I'm sure it will smoke, it'll throw smaller baits a little bit easier. So I may put this one on a cranking rod and throw a lot of small cranks on it. And I may put the SV on my other crank rod, throw a little bit bigger cranks. Like I said, that way I really can give them a workout and see just how good they are. But I uh, definitely expect a review on these reels um, next season. Anyways, guys, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the thumbs up. And we will talk to you guys on the next one.